Hello fellow armchair astronauts! This is a launch report for my recent rocket flight on March 3rd, 2018. This month I launched my fully 3D printed rocket, the Gama, named after the Portuguese explorer. This particular Gama was named Waldo, which ended up being a very fitting name. Waldo launched on an Estes D12 motor, expected apogee was about 410 meters, and max velocity was expected to be about Mach 0.4. The launch went very well, Waldo flew almost exactly straight upwards and climbed very high. I wasn't quite prepared for how quickly it would go up, so I didn't track the liftoff with a camera. I knew it was going to be quick, the simulation said peak acceleration of about 30 G's, but it's a bit different seeing that in person. We lost sight of the rocket as it climbed, I had painted it red to try and help visibility. In retrospect, black might have been a better color to contrast against the clouds, but the rocket is so small and compact it probably wouldn't have made a difference. A little after parachute deployment we did find the rocket in the sky again. It was descending under the parachute correctly so I knew everything worked well, however it drifted really far in the wind and I wasn't able to find where it landed. I looked around for about 25 minutes but Waldo could not be found. So recovery did not happen, which is a bit disappointing. I guess it's not a big deal with this rocket, since the total cost of building a new one is less than $10, but I still wanted to inspect the rocket to make sure it wasn't damaged during the flight. I'm still very happy with the outcome of this flight. This proved a fully 3D printed airframe is viable for model rockets. During the design process I came across several other printed rocket projects online, which were often like 3 to 5 times heavier than a conventional rocket of a similar size and it seemed like a fairly large portion of the rocket community was somewhat skeptical of the idea of a fully 3D printed airframe. These people thought that 3D printed rockets would be either too heavy or not strong enough or would just melt from the engine heat. With Gamma, I think I've shown 3D printed rockets can not only work but offer some benefits over conventional materials. Gamma weighs 96 grams with the engine and recovery system installed and the airframe itself is only about 45 grams. This is a little heavier than conventional materials, but not that much. And 3D printing also offers some benefits to offset this higher weight. One, the accuracy of 3D printed objects means more consistent and predictable behavior during flight. Two, the rocket is very easy to assemble. The fins, motor mount, and launch lug all print as a single part. All you have to do is glue in the body tube to the tail section tie in the parachute and shock cord, and slide in the motor and it's ready for flight. So it might only take 15 minutes of work to prepare the rocket. And three, the cost is very low. The airframe only costs about 75 cents to print. It took quite a bit of design work to make this rocket. I printed a total of four test versions before I was happy with the design. And this rocket can't just be printed on any 3D printer either. It needs to be a FDM printer with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle using PLA plastic filament. And the printer needs to be pretty well tuned because a lot of the common problems printers have that usually aren't a big deal with non-functional prints could end up creating a weak point on the rocket. The reason it needs to be a 0.4 millimeter nozzle is because all the walls are 0.8 millimeters wide. So you need some multiple of 0.8 to make the walls consistent. I will release the STL file soon so anyone else with a 3D printer can make their own. But first I want to make a video with instructions on printing and assembly so people know what they're doing when they're putting it together. I plan to launch another Gamma at next month's launch. This time I'm going to fly it on a C11 motor. I want to launch on a smaller motor because I feel the altitude it reached with the D12 was a bit too high. A C11 will be a better size for people who don't have a nearby rocket club with access to a large empty plot of land. This will mean the rocket won't drift as far in the wind, so hopefully I can recover it this time. And assuming I do recover, I will try to fly it several times in one day to see how it handles reuse. Sorry for the lack of footage for this month. Next month I'm going to try to take more video, and I'll have a GoPro with me instead of just my phone, so it should look a lot better too. Anyways, this has been Liam from Space is Kinda Cool. Thanks for watching.